Hello, and welcome back to the Museum of Northwest Arts Mona Moments Quiz brought to you every week during the shutdown by the Museum of Northwest Art in La Conner, Washington. This week, we learned about Mexican-American artists in the Pacific Northwest. Remember, this quiz is an informal way to keep busy, test your knowledge of Northwest art and artists, and to help pass the time while we're all waiting for the shutdown to end. It's not graded and it won't go on your permanent record. As always, you can pause the video if you need more time. So grab your answers from yesterday and prepare to learn something new about the art, artists, and museum we all love. Are you ready for some answers? All right, let's go. This first artist is particularly interesting. Born in 18th century Mexico, this artist joined a scientific excursion recording flora and fauna across Mexico before he was even 18. He was also part of one of the first scientific excursions to Nootka Sound in the Northwest in 1792. I know this was a tough one, but did you get it? That's right, the artist is Atanasio Echeverria Igadoy. During the excursions in Mexico, time was running short to finish the scientific assignments, and artists were asked to sketch, draw, or paint only one view of each specimen they found. Fortunately, that didn't stop our artist from creating incredible art on the trail, including this pen and ink drawing on paper. This 20th and 21st century self-taught artist and photographer was born in Mexico, raised in California, and has lived in Seattle since 1997. His timeless and unique images appeared in Mona's 2016 exhibition, Beyond Azatlan. Did you get it? That's right, it's photographer Daniel Carrillo. Daniel Carrillo uses what some might consider an antique or outdated process that produces images that will last for generations. This image was created using amber type, a type of direct positive monochrome photographic process. When viewed against a dark background, the negative plate looks like a positive photograph. Amber type comes from the Greek word ambrotos, meaning imperishable or immortal, and is probably in reference to the durability of the glass plate. Born in 1909, this artist led an interesting and full life before passing away in 1987. His travels took him all over the United States learning and teaching and around the world serving in the United States Army Air Corps during World War II before settling in the Pacific Northwest in 1954. He taught at the University of Washington, served as director of the Henry Art Gallery, and served as chairman of the art department before retiring in 1979. I'm almost positive you got this one. That's right, it's Boyer Gonzalez Jr. Boyer Gonzalez Jr.'s career evolved from realism to bold abstractions of form, patterns, and colors found in nature. Rocks, trees, sky, and shadows on a wall were some of the visual stimulants for his abstractions, which typically obscured any relationship to these objects. He defined a successful work as one with, quote, an inner spirit and life of its own. This work, called Anthracite, is an oil on board painting. Born in St. Paul, Minnesota, to parents from Michoacan, Mexico, this artist was a prominent 20th century sculptor and painter, as well as a professor at Eastern Washington University. He addressed issues within the Chicano and Latino community, but also discussed more universal motifs, such as culture, race, history, and faith. I know this was a tough one, but the artist of this piece is Ruben Trejo. Ruben Trejo was a very versatile artist who worked in brushed aluminum, paper collage, welded constructions, bent railroad spikes, bronze casting, and other mediums. This sculpture, La Llorona, the Weeping Woman, is painted wood and steel. Born and raised in El Paso, Texas, this artist creates humorous, decorative sculptures addressing his identity and community. He has been the recipient of numerous awards, including the Museum of Northwest Arts Luminaries Patty Warashina Award for Emerging Artists in 2016. 
His work is a celebration of the individual against the backdrop of community, the modern world against the backdrop of the ancient. You guessed it, it's George Rodriguez. George Rodriguez is known for the use of color in his work, as well as his blend of Mexican, Latin American, and Asian imagery. He's had work included in several Museum of Northwest Art exhibitions. This piece may look like it's cast metal, but it's actually glazed ceramic. Proof, as if we needed it, that sometimes, especially in art, looks can be deceptive, but beautiful nonetheless. I hope you enjoyed this week's adventure in Northwest Art, and if you did, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos. If you'd like more Mona content, be sure to check out our website, monamuseum.org, and find us on Facebook and Instagram. I'll see you next week.